No, we're not going in, Kai. No in. No in. I don't know what you think. <laughs> Y'all, Grandma Rose here. Having a conversation with the dog. The dog is right behind the camera. And he thinks we're getting ready to go into the house. We're not going into the house. I want to show you some stuff around the yard. And back up here a little bit. See if I can get him to come. Yeah! Have the camera up on the steps. I wanted to show you just a little bit about what's going on in the garden this morning before I get inside. And you know, it's not that bad, but it's going to be in the 90s again this afternoon. And so it will be bad later on. It's the first day of the week. It's Monday. My roosters, I haven't, let, I haven't let the chickens out yet. I am squinting. The sun is reflecting off my house and bouncing back at me. So I just um, want to show you what the dog's been doing and what I'm, what I'm doing. Trying to clean off the side of my house. So let me get the camera. Turn it around and let you see what I'm doing. Uh, just up, you know, a little bit here and there. We'll see what happens this morning. Let's walk out to the garden. Roosters are telling me they went out of the coop. So just a few little flowers right here at the edge. And right here in this little tray, you see the, the red cup that's turned over because I've already put some stuff out. But these are peppers and, and um, tomatoes. I did a, a video several weeks ago planting these, showing how to plant tiny little seeds. And there they are. They're not so tiny anymore, and it's time for them to go out in the garden. And I have taken up a few of my tomatoes. Oh, about half a dozen of the tomatoes are up out of here. Still have three left. And they're flowering again. I think I may leave those three and see what happens. There's a pepper plant right there. Throwing some peppers. Beans I'm picking every other day. And if you look over here, can you see the flowers? Um, that's the Cherokee pet pen pumpkin. And the dog has decided to dig a hole in the yard, in the garden. He's digging a hole right there. I don't know what he's doing. At least there's nothing there for him to, to destroy. Do you see behind him? See that clump of grass? I want you to see where that came from. He might even do it for us again. But if we look over here, there's that clump of grass that I dug out of my little piece of garden over here by the house. And there's a pile that I haven't taken to the compost yet. It'll happen, maybe today, maybe not. I still see a few more, a few more that need to come up that I missed right over in here. Right in here, there's some grass right there that I need to dig up. And there's a little piece right there that needs to be dug up. So I'm gonna dig that up before I take that out. And I could make more than, more than one trip out, but I don't have to. Come around this way. There's a pretty celosia that my friend gave me the plants. And herbs. That is some uh, lemon basil and the Genovese, or the, I believe that it's Genovese basil, right there. And in front of this, right in here, that's Popolo. And I broke down that carton that my propane tank was in, and I've put that over to make a, the walkway, and I'm going to put wood chips on top of that. So I think that is pretty much it as far as the garden goes. Puppy dog, love and light. Now, see what he did? He dug that hole in the garden. And now he's lying in it. I suppose that's cooler there than if he didn't dig the hole. It wasn't a big hole. And before you know it, this part of the garden is going to be fenced off, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'm getting a roll of fencing in, in the next day or two, and I'm going to finish fencing this. That's one of those good news bees. Right there, do you see it? And this is that big clump of shiso, perilla. And other than that, that's pretty much all that's going on. Here is this area of the backyard. On the other side of the fence, 
that the, that the pigs completely rooted up for me. I say they rooted it up for me. I was angry when it was happening, and I'm still not happy with it. But what I plan on doing is right there at that fence post, you see the corner right there. I'm going to come out from that fence, and I don't know how far out. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to come out from that fence over in this direction. Uh, maybe just as far as that tree. I haven't decided. And then back over, back over to the shed over here. And enclose this part of the garden and make it into a fall garden. It's going to be fine in the wintertime because there will not be any leaves in this big pecan tree. That pecan tree is on its last legs. Don't know what's going on with it, but I've been here 10 years and I've never had one pecan off of it. And it leaves out at least two weeks or more after the other ones do. And it just looks spindly. It loses a lot more branches than the other ones. Um, it's not a large pecan tree, if you can see from the, from the trunk. I mean, it's a full-size tree, but it's not a giant, huge tree. So uh, I'm considering having that cut down. It probably needs to happen. Let's come back over to the house. Let me see what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm going to point out to you. Well, see, puppy thinks we're going in. Let's get close in. When we come up to the house, come up to the door, you notice on the on the the door frame and on the siding right next to the door. Do you see this that black stuff? You see on the on the siding. Do you see the plant growing there? It's a vine. It's called fig vine. And if you've ever gone to New Orleans and walked around, you might have seen this growing on the walls. You might have seen this dumb dog. <laughs> let's see, let's get Kai to go in. Kai wants to go in. There he goes. Kai's in now. Now I can talk about this without the dog. Okay, right here. Right here on the wall next to the door frame is the plant called fig vine. And it's, as you see, it's growing on my house. And I thought it was lovely. And I bought it with the intention of it being a ground cover, and it didn't stay a ground cover, but it decided, decided to grow up the wall, like it does. Now, I've got this wire brush. Scrub. Look at that. The stuff doesn't come off. I'm here, I'm making black marks. I'll have to wash off. But look at that, you see that? It doesn't, it won't come off. And I can't scrub this, I can't sand this because this siding is asbestos siding. So this is it. The only thing that I'm going to be able to do is paint the house. So that's what's going on here. And this is why you see this. I have actually washed this door frame. But yeah, that's what, that's what all this is. And it's not dirt. Even though it looks like it's dirt, it's what I'm going to have to do is actually paint over it. It'll just give it a little bit more texture. So just a, a little quick view from my door from my doorstep. Let's do a little quick quick look around. Not too shabby. Looking forward to these pumpkins actually getting some pumpkins on them. And it's still, we still have another good six weeks or so longer. As this is just the middle of August. We have until the middle of October. Another good two months before we can even expect to have any frost. So I think we probably have a chance for some pumpkins growing in here. So that's it, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this little, little tour of the garden this morning. Bye, y'all. See you next time.